Hey Capricorn, what is going on? I hope you're super well. Um, my name is Madame Butterfly. Okay, um, my name is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be a love reading for October Capricorn. But it's timeless, so whenever you happen to get it is when you were meant to get it. Um, I'm going to start things a little bit differently. I just got a new deck, the Kipper deck, which I'm like super excited about because I think it's super cute. So I'm just going to pull a couple of cards for you from this to start with. So what you got for Capricorn, please spare it for whenever they hear this message. That's quite a lot of spirit. Give that to me again. Okay, wow, you have main female, courtship and change. Oh my god. Very nice. Um, you also have sudden wealth at the bottom of the deck, by the way, just in case you were wondering about like thinking about buying this deck it's quite small it, it's a beautiful deck okay but like that's my tarot deck behind it so it's the cards are kind of small you know they're beautiful but just putting that out there um yeah at the bottom of the deck you have sudden wealth as well at the bottom of the deck here capricorn so you might be something that you've been working on might be paying off you know because that's been coming up in your readings a lot recently as well like you've been working really hard at something so you have courtship you have change and you have main female aren't these beautiful i just love them i think it's the colors i just like the colors i like cards that have bold colors you know what i mean and they're kind of old timey looking like i think they're so cute um so there's change coming in you're about to start dating someone or someone's coming in to offer you um, courtship. You have main female here, so this is either your main, this is your main person, either um, the female that you've been waiting on or the, the guy you've been waiting on. <clears throat> this is the one, the person that you have been waiting on or the person that is your main guy or gal, you know what I mean, coming in to date you. Um, so let me just shuffle this. Um, what else did I want to see? Yeah, thank you so much for being here, Capricorn. I really appreciate it. And you're so welcome here as always. And if you find the reading resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. Um, also, I'm not taking personal readings at the moment, Capricorn. Like, you know, if you've booked a reading with me, obviously <laughs> I'm going to deliver it, but. I'm not taking any more bookings at the moment. Um, right. So, Spirit, what is going on <clears throat> for Capricorn in love for whenever they get this message? <clears throat> right, you have the Four of Swords. So you, you might need to rest. I don't know if you've been working really hard, Capricorn, or you're in separation from your person. You have the devil and the ace of wands. So some of you are dealing with an, another Capricorn. For some of you, there is a, a new beginning with another Capricorn. But for some of you, there's, there's definitely a new beginning coming in here, but for some reason, you have a little bit of devil energy surrounding it. We will clarify that. Okay, what else for Capricorn, please? Why is that four of swords there? Ace of cups. So there's a new beginning after a period of separation with someone. Um, or after a period of being single for a really long time. Because I feel if you have been single for a long time, either way, whether this is you've been waiting for a specific person or you've just been, you know, chilling and not really dating, you've been recovering from something or your person has been recovering from something, but there's a new phase or a new love coming in with the Ace of Cups here. I mean, you've only got four cards on the table and you have two aces, <laughs> so there's definitely a new beginning coming in here. Why is the devil there? It's fast. 
this this keeps coming out in your readings. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. There's there's a new beginning coming in really fast. Okay, there's endings keep appearing. So it's not the end of a situation with someone. It's the end of a cycle with someone because you have the the death card and the ten of swords. So it's the end of some kind of cycle. You know, if you guys were in a cycle of like, for example, with the Four of Swords being in separation and not talking, that cycle is ending. But with the devil here, I do think it's going, I think this is the thing that you're not going to like for some reason. You have the Tower and the Eight of Wands, it's fast. I don't know if it just throws you a little bit, because this keeps coming up in your readings. That there's someone coming in fast. Like maybe they pressure you into moving faster that you than you want to go or something or I don't know there is something I, I think it's fast and you don't like it it's going too fast for you is what I want to say you have the six of swords here though so this is moving into much calmer waters with the two of you you know sailing off into the sunset together kind of energy. Okay, give me a bit more please. What's going on for Capricorn in love? What would you like Capricorn to know about love coming in please? Wow, look at that. <clears throat> you could for sure be dealing with another Capricorn. What else have we got here? You could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with a water sign. Could be an age difference here between you. This is a soulmate though, there's union coming in with a soulmate, two of cups. There's union. And it's with someone that you're really going to like because obviously, <laughs> you know, it's a soulmate with the two of cups. Like this is someone who thinks very similar to you, you know. Um, you get along very well, you're very attracted to each other, but it's more than that. There's like, with a soul connection like that, there's just, there's just some kind of indefinable quality about it that you don't, like, it's something you get from this person that you don't get from anywhere, anyone else. Like, they give you this sense of belonging and peace. You know, this sense of familiarity that you can be yourself with this person, you know that you guys want the same kind of things. Um, the Two of Cups is a marriage card, it's a union card, and it talks about, really it's difficult, I think I say this in a lot of the readings, but with the Two of Cups it's really difficult to imagine your life without that person once they've entered your life. And look, there's someone, there's an offer coming in. Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, so I do feel you're getting an offer from someone that doesn't usually make this offer. Like they don't do it with a lot of people, you know, or they haven't done it with anyone for a long time, like offered their heart to someone, because that's what you're getting with the Knight of Cups. Someone's coming in to offer you their heart, to offer you feelings, to, you know, to get this going with you. Queen of Swords, it could be a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. This person that you're dealing with, um, they could be a little burned from things that have gone on in their past, okay? Um, you know, but they're still going to come in and have this conversation with you. They might be quite direct, you know, because with an air sign, and I'm not slagging off air signs because I'm an air sign myself, but you might not get... They're going to do their best to discuss their feelings with you, okay? But with the Queen of Swords energy, it might not be that emotional at first, right? They are going to open up to you, though, you know, as much as they can, as much as they're able to do it. Okay, so...
Right, what's this decision? What's this? Why is it why why is this the devil for Capricorn? Why is the devil showing up here? I think it's just because it's fast and it's out of the blue and it takes you by surprise. Okay, tell us more about this person. What's going on with this person? <laughs> They're really worried. Nine of swords. You're definitely dealing with an overthinker. You have the Knight of Cups clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. They are coming in to offer you a new beginning. They're very aware that you're their soulmate. And for some reason it's stressing them out. Like... There's something of, um, they've just given me like, they don't believe it. This person is very logical with the Queen of Swords. Regardless of the sign that you're dealing with, this person is very logical. So you might be dealing with someone here who prefers logic over heart, you know, head over heart kind of thing. So this might be <laughs> unusual for them. You know, maybe like Bones from that show Bones, right? <laughs> like she's, you know, not that, not that crazy, but you know, maybe they're not used to this level, like feeling this level of emotion for someone and it's kind of stressing them out or maybe they're just worried they've, that you've moved on or something like this. Um, you have the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Pentacles. So this person is coming in to offer you a future. They're coming in to offer, they want to build something with you. You know what I mean? They want to have a home with you. They want to build a life with you. They might even be offering you, for some of you guys, and I feel like I said this before in the Capricorn reading, they might want to work with you or something. Because you have the Page of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. So this is only going to be for some of you. But this person, they might want to work with you in some way, but they definitely want to start a new beginning and make it very, um, no, I'm too hot, <laughs> and like make it really stable. They want something really stable with you. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a single mother. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um... <clears throat> This person is very, you're dealing with someone pretty formidable here with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you're really dealing with someone that knows what they want. Um, they're definitely good with their money. They could have their own business. They could be a teacher with the Queen of Swords. Uh, a lot of Swords energy here. You have the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. And you have the Ten of Wands. It looks like it's someone you already know for a lot of you. Because um, I just saw the Six of Cups there. So this person's definitely an overthinker. You know, I think they've been kind of stressing out about this connection. But they're moving away from that now with the Six of Swords. You know. Um, I feel like this person's had a lot of baggage for some reason with the Ten of Wands. Maybe a crap relationship, you know, in the past. Um, but they're having victory over this. They're having like mental clarity. You know what I mean? They know what they want now. And it's you. Just see the Ten of Pentacles sticking out there. Page of Wands. Expect a message. This is the start of something very beautiful. Ace of Swords. Look, yeah. Definitely expect a message. You're about to get a conversation from this person. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Clarifying the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This person is coming in with the intention of offering you commitment. Um, Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It does look like someone you know coming back around. That's quite a lot, Spirit. Um, give me one more for down here, please. at the bottom of the deck and I, w I was thinking I should take this one and put it there but they just gave it, <laughs> they just gave it right back to me. 
They, say, they do this all the time. It's like, Biatch, did we stutter? Did we stutter? Oh, for the love of everything, holy. There we go. No, still not focusing, huh? There we go. Six of Cups. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, this is someone, they're coming in to offer you their heart. They are coming in to give themselves to you, Capricorn. Six of Cups usually indicates someone from your past. So it could be someone, you, you know, you're not, like you've not been waiting for them, but like maybe it's someone from your past that you reconnect with by mistake or something. You know what I mean? Like someone from school that you meet in Tesco's or something random. Or like you reconnect on LinkedIn or like Facebook or something like that. Um, so I'm going to pull a few of these. Yeah, what am I going to do here? I'm going to pull a few of these, okay? And then I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, jump into the extended Capricorn, <coughs> if I can talk. So to watch the extended, um, you have to join as a channel member. <coughs> excuse me, um, so there should be a join button underneath the video. Might only be on the laptop. Um, and then the link will be in the description box underneath the video. Okay. So, look at that. If your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust in the process. I was thinking I should pull a bit more on this energy Capricorn, but really I, I've done it before and it, it, it's just because it's fast. It seems to throw you a little bit. I think it's just because you've not heard from this person for a long time and then they kind of appear out of the blue and I think maybe because they're coming in wanting this commitment with you I don't know maybe they maybe they push too much or something or you're just not ready so there's a little bit of maybe stubbornness or yeah I just think first you might have to you know put the brakes on with this person if that you know bear in mind if you don't want to move this fast, that's entirely up to you, you know what I mean? Just just tell them. Because they're just, they're really into you. I feel like what this is, is like... You're definitely dealing with someone that's had some hurt in the past, because that's the Queen of Swords energy. You know, it's um someone that's been through the ringer in some way. So they might kind of present as a little defensive sometimes. That's very much Queen of Swords energy. But they're definitely coming in to offer you a commitment, so I think it's just the speed at which it takes place or something like that that throws you off your game a little bit. Okay, um, so what would you like Capricorn to know about this relationship, please? Respect. Respect your relationships. So it could mean there's a lot of mutual respect in the relationships, in the relationship, sorry, or this could mean make sure you respect your own boundaries. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like if you don't want to move as fast as they're trying to get you to move, and I feel like it's not to do with trying to get you into bed. I feel like it, I mean, they will obviously, they probably do want to do that, but <laughs> there's, there's a commit, they want commitment here with you. You know? Okay, so what else would you like Capricorn to know about this relationship, please? What else would you like Capricorn to know? Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. You're not doing things by half years, so you have yin yang. So this is like your other half. You know what I mean? This is your your counterpart that's coming in here. This is a soulmate. Could be a twin flame. The yin yang card does talk about twin flames, but you know, don't get too hung up on the twin flame thing because, um, just you know, there's no point really. Um, you have the, the soulmate of the two of cups here, though, you have the soulmate with the six of cups, so it's definitely a soulmate connection. 
but with the yin yang you might find that you're quite opposite but you're the same at your core you know what i mean like your souls are very very similar at your core like you have the same values you want the same thing but especially maybe you are dealing with an air sign you know so they want to because air signs are like go 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 like let's move fast you know what i mean and you, you know you guys are more like no let's think about this let's plan let's be reasonable <laughs> um yeah so maybe that's just what it is what else would you like capricorns to know about this relationship please it just flipped over i know you flipped something over what was it not getting that one okay um what else would you like capricorn to know oh there it is watch out for signs leading you to true love so you've probably been getting a lot of signs about this connection especially if this is someone um like that you've not been waiting for you might get a lot of signs like spirit might try and get you i don't know for example to go to a different coffee shop or something one day you know what i mean and you're like weird why are you trying to get me to do that and then you might meet this person there or you might have a really strong pull to join a dating app or like you know log on to facebook or join a chat group or something like that at a certain time i feel like you probably can get a lot of signs about this person you know you might see this person's name because that tends to be like as you get closer to union, you tend to like see this person's name more and more, you know, um, or like the, you'll, you'll notice a lot more synchronicities on the clock or you'll see a lot more of like a specific sign from spirit, you know, like something that's special to you. You know, they tend to send me birds and butterflies. <laughs> Um, one day I came home and there was a big butterfly in my bedroom that had cr come in a crack of the window like this much. It's like, oh, that's kind of awesome. So whatever it is for you, you're probably seeing more, uh, you'll be seeing more of it recently, you know. You have Remarkable here and you'll notice the wedding rings there as well. So there's definitely a commitment coming in. I, th I would say there is something remarkable about this connection. You have openness and you have honour. Which is interesting because you have respect here too. I wonder if this just means there's a lot of honour and respect in the relationship. And you have, excuse me, you have openness. So make sure you are stating your needs as well here. You know what I mean with this connection? Because I know it can be easy to kind of just let yourself go with the flow if someone is kind of, um, you know, being forceful with you. But just make sure you're stating, like, you know, just like, hey, like, cool your jets. Like, we don't need to go this fast. I feel like there's a lot of mutual respect here as well, though, you know. And give me one more, please intense yeah i think it is quite an intense connection that you guys have going on here lucky you <laughs> um i think your person is about to come in and start being more open with you though because this is another thing that the eight of wands it represents like it's fast but it's also open it's very open, free-flowing communication, you know? So this might be the most open this person has ever been with you, and it might just throw you a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's beautiful, Capricorn. So I'm gonna jump into the extended reading. I'm gonna talk about more about your person, how they feel about you, and what action they're gonna take. Um, so if I see you in the extended reading, awesome. But um, if not, Thank you so much for watching and take care Capricorn, lots of love.